Hello, dear traders. Today is the 7th of March, Thursday. Here's the new video review I have prepared for InstaForex company. Today is a really eventful day. The European Central Bank will announce its key rate decision. The ECB press conference will take place a bit later. Between these publications, the United States will disclose its initial unemployment claims data. Notably, yesterday, the U.S. issued strong reports. However, the comments provided by Jerome Powell had a negative influence on the greenback. In fact, the U.S. currency started losing value amid the non-farm payroll figures, which continued to reflect a downward tendency. Let us find out how the news affected trading charts. We will start with gold. As I anticipated, this week the price has formed the biggest bar. This usually happens before a breakout of an important level, namely a yearly extreme. The assets started rising after the publication of the non-farm payroll data and it's still moving up. At present, I do not see any interesting trading situations. There have been just two interesting trading situations since the beginning of the year in February and March. The euro-dollar pair has finally entered the zone of interest and broken some important levels. Those who managed to keep long positions on the euro benefited from the recent bulk of information. Notably, the stop loss was settled 130 pips from the entry point, whereas the take profit was placed 880 pips from this point. Thus, the three-way structure finished its formation. Since the pair exceeded the highs, as I expected, I do not foresee any further rise. However, it's still possible amid the US dollar depreciation. The Australian dollar is rapidly gaining in value. It's likely to reach the level of 0 0.69, thus bringing a considerable profit to buyers. The price broke the high seen in February. That is why I think it has every chance to break a high recorded in January. The pound dollar pair is gradually climbing to its highs. The formation of a three-wave structure is still in process. Meanwhile, the dollar-yen pair tumbled. This could be explained by the greenback's weakness and the yen's appreciation. The fact is that the yen is gaining in value against many currencies. As for silver, it's following gold. I'm looking forward to see the asset trade at the price of 30 USD. It's a very high price for this instrument. For now, I'm going to stop there. Stay tuned for our next video review.